A uh, few times tonight you're going to hear us reference disparity in Colorado, and that's a project that we have at Nine News that's studying the impact of racial disparities in our state, and one of them is health care. The percentage of black and Latino Coloradans with health insurance almost doubled with the expansion of Medicaid coverage and the Affordable Care Act. Mr. Gardner, if you succeed in getting rid of the Affordable Care Act, the loss of health insurance would disproportionately fall on black and Latino Coloradans at the same time that the pandemic is disproportionately affecting those communities. Has that situation given you any pause about trying to repeal the ACA? Well, thank you, Kyle. I don't think this has to be a zero-sum game. I don't think it's either the Affordable Care Act or nothing. In fact, Governor Hickenlooper has said that he wants to replace the Affordable Care Act with a plan that he led several years ago with Governor John Kasich. We need to make sure that we are helping people, minority, African-American, black populations, Hispanic populations in this state and across this country. Uh, under my plan, we will focus on a patient-centered care system. Uh, we will allow people to increase their quality of care by decreasing the cost of care. We will do so through re reinsurance programs and risk pools. We also have to recognize the work that we have done for minority communities across Colorado by growing our economy. If you're, uh, black families in this state, in this country, have seen their wealth on average grow by 33%. Hispanic families have seen their wealth grow by 65% as a result of the economic policies. It's not a zero-sum game. Where I'm concerned, though, with is Governor Hickenlooper's plan to replace the Affordable Care Act, which would lead to a government-run program that would take 176 million Americans' insurance policies away from their workplace. That's his plan. That's irresponsible to destroy over 170 million That's Americans' time. insurance. Thank you, Mr. Gardner. Uh, Mr. Hickenlooper, he described this plan that you're interested in uh, with former Governor Kasich. Uh, this is something that's come up in a number of your discussions. So 30 seconds now for you to tell us, what is that plan? Are you still pursuing it? And what would it mean to Coloradans? So I only get 30 seconds to, because you don't want me to, to design or to talk to this my... Is, this is your rebuttal, and he's, he is describing your plan, and I'm giving you 30 seconds to tell folks what that plan actually is. Okay, so John Kasich, the Republican governor of Ohio, who had also expanded Medicaid, we came together not to replace the Affordable Care Act. That's, that I never said that. He never said that. We were looking at ways that we could improve it, and especially focusing on ways that we could make the exchanges more cost effective for people because that's one of the, the problems you know the Affordable Care Act uh, the Republicans have tried to take it away they've never allowed us to report it uh, to, to repair it or improve it not repair it, but improve it and again and again these attacks are going to uh, are threatening to dismantle it completely without us uh, any kind of re uh, uh, suitable replacement thank you mr. Hickenlooper